Hi, welcome to another episode of Audio Tech. In this episode, I'm going to be discussing um, how to set up a subgroup. So, we'll do this using your subgroup masters and the subgroup switches on the channels. Okay, so let's say you have a, a duet, a boy and a girl singing, and you have a guitar and a keyboard. Um, let's just say the boy and girl are on channel 6 and 7 here and you have a guitar and keyboard on um, on these channels <coughs> channels 8 and 9, 10. So you can run the keyboard in on your stereo channel. Um, what you would do is you would want to balance out the vocals of the male and female first and you want to you know balance out how loud the keyboard and the guitar are and then you want these to not be touched. You don't want to keep playing with those. So once you get those set, you want to patch, let's say I want to put the uh, vocals on my first fader group over here. And then I can put the, um, the guitar and the keyboard on group two. Now the next thing I want to do is make sure I disengage my stereo button because we don't want to send it to two different locations and so now what I have is the vocals are mixed here but the output volume is controlled by my subgroup fader over here so here's where I go to control how loud the vocals are instead of dancing up and down trying to balance this trying to keep the mix the same all I do is move one fader now <clears throat> the same with the keyboard and the guitar. And they're passed into group 3 and 4 over here. So once I get their levels set relative to each other, I can use my subgroup fader over here to set the instrument's level against the vocals. Okay, And then I got the main fader front of house over here, which of course controls the whole level of everything. And that's all you're doing when it comes to subgrouping. Now, um, I use the demonstration here of having two vocals and a guitar in the uh, keyboard. This could be four vocalists. It could be like a quartet. And you're just going to run all of the quartet to, say, subgroup one. And that would route them to this. And then you could have your CD player on track 16, let's say and they're singing to a backing CD track. So you set your CD level and then you use this fader to control the level of the whole group against the CD playback. Instead of trying to raise four faders up and down, you just got one. And it just makes life a lot simpler <clears throat> to, to use your subgroups this way. They're also good for, for drums, for example. You would mix, you know, if you had a full you know, big, huge mixer with like 24 channels, you could run eight mics and subgroup one through eight on the drums just to one group and control the whole drum set. So that's where, uh, you know, it, it's just really handy being able to do these things. So I hope that helps you know a little bit more about your mixer and what the subgrouping is all about. And um, so next time you're faced with a small quartet, in a piano or something like that, um, try it out and see how you like it. Because it will definitely make a difference in your ability to keep a good mix. So that's it for how to set up subgroups.